everyone. I'm Sophia with Waken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. The Council of Trent was a huge deal. It was a series of council meetings from 1545 to 1563 in response to the Protestant Reformation. Doctrine was thrown into the questioning and accused of borderline heresies, and church teachings were carefully evaluated and better articulated to the faithful. One of these included the veneration of the relics, which we celebrate today on the Feast of Holy Relics. Now, when I say the veneration of relics, I'm not talking about worshiping them like we worship the Blessed Sacrament, God in flesh. That would absolutely be a heresy and lean toward cultism, which is what early Protestants were concerned about. What I'm saying is a person is made up of two inseparable parts, body and soul. If their souls are declared holy, then it's only fitting that their bodies are also declared holy and should be therefore treated with honor and veneration. So what exactly is a relic? There's actually three classifications of relics. They're always something associated with a saint, directly or indirectly. First class relics are parts of or entire bodies of a saint. That can include a tiny bone chip or a drop of blood, and sometimes even their incorrupt bodies. These are also the relics that are placed inside the altar stone of every Catholic church. Fragments of Christ's cross and the crown of thorns are also considered first class relics. A second class relic would be anything the saint personally wore or tools used in their martyrdom. Usually these include articles of fragments of clothing or a pair of their shoes, for example. Both first and second class relics undergo official documentation declaring them a relic and from whom. Relics are then safely sealed in reliquaries that are decorative storages as to avoid any tampering. A third class relic includes anything that's touched a first or second class relic. I've been fortunate enough to make my own third class relics. I've touched a rosary to the martyr location of St. Joan of Arc, as well as some saint pendants to the tombs of St. Zelie and Louis. Although they can't be officially declared relics of the church like first and second class, they are still holy items now that we as the faithful are called to respect and honor. There's plenty of scriptural references throughout the Bible that support veneration of the relics. The Israelites carried the bones of Joseph with them from Egypt in the book of Exodus. The bones of Elisha later resurrected a dead man in the book of Kings. There were even those in Acts of the Apostles who would touch St. Paul with handkerchiefs used to later aid in the miraculous healing of their loved ones. Today, we're reminded of the beauty and holiness of a person's soul and body. It's a both and scenario, and we can't separate the two. Let us draw closer to the lives of the saints through the relics they leave behind. And may we too grow closer to God in our own journey of faith through the seemingly natural that He elevates to the supernatural. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.